Hello everyone, my name is Isha Vivek Thakare. I am from Cummins College of Engineering for Women Nagpur from Electronics and Telecommunication Department. So my today's topic is Fiber Alignment and Joint Loss. As we know, Fiber Alignment uh, uh, and various losses, uh, when we join two fibers, so let's start with the uh, topic. In any type of common system, it is uh, not possible to have a very long transmission media unless it is a uh, wireless communication so we need a wireless communication we require repeaters we require boosters we require attenuators in order to increase or decrease the strength of the signal so similarly in case of optical fiber communication system we require to connect two fibers with each other so when we connect fibers with each other sometimes almost of the time the losses occurs even if the fibers are properly arranged. So in this video, we are going to talk about fiber alignment and joint losses. So let's start with it. So uh, a major consideration with all types of fiber to fiber connection is the optical loss encountered at the interface. Even when the two joint fiber ends are smooth and perpendicular to the fiber axis and the two fiber axis are perfectly aligned. A small portion of the light may be reflected back into the transmitting fiber causing attenuation at the joint. This is the phenomena known as Fresnel reflection is associated with the step changes in refractive index and the joint interface. So that is glass air glass, glass to air, air to glass. The magnitude of this partial reflection of the light transmitted through the interface may be estimated using the classical functional from uh, formula for light of normal incidence as given in uh, given in this equation r equals to in bracket n minus n1 minus n upon n1 plus n whole square where r is the fra uh, fraction of the light refracted at a single interface uh, so n1 is the refractive index of the fiber core and n is the refractive index of the medium between two joints so that is uh, for air n equals to 1 however in order to determine the amount of light reflected at the fiber joint personal reflection at both fiber interfaces must be taken into account the loss in disables due to personal reflection at a single interface is given by loss first equals to minus 10 log of 10 uh, in bracket 1 minus r Hence, uh, using the relationship given in equation 1 and 2, it is possible to determine the optical attenuation due to personal reflection at a fiber to fiber joint. Uh, so, when the index matching, uh, so given here, uh, it is apparent the, that personal reflection may be given a sig uh, significant loss at fiber joint, even when all the aspects of the connections are ideal. And when the index matching fluids has the same refractive index as the fiber core, losses due to personal reflection are in the theory excited. Unfortunately, uh, somehow personal reflection is the only one possible source of optical loss at the fiber joint. A uh, potentially greater source of loss at a fiber to fiber joint connection is caused by misalignment of two joint fibers. So here is a uh, three possible types of misalignment first is uh, first figure is of longitudinal misalignment second one is lateral misalignment and third one is angular misalignment so um, in, uh, talking about intrinsic losses it is minimized using fiber uh, manufactured with low tolerance that is uh, loss due to and uh, the loss due to uh, losses are due to personal reflection deviation in geometrical and optical parameters Intrinsic coupling losses are uh, limited by reducing fiber matches between the connected fibers. Uh, moving towards extrinsic losses. Extrinsic losses uh, are uh, coupled losses and which is caused by joint jointing uh, techniques. Fiber to fiber connection loss is increased by the following sources of intrinsic and extrinsic coupling loss. On the, uh, these are uh, reflection losses, fiber separation, lateral misalignment, angular misalignment, core and cladding diameter mismatch, numerical aperture uh, mismatch, uh, refractive index profile difference, poor fiber and preparation, loss due to some imperfection 